what should I be eating? What should I not be eating? So I think some of the priorities you can totally cut out of your diet is we'll say like four different things. You know, sugars, added sugars is a good place to start. You know, really trying to diminish your intake of sugars because as we know, it's similar to cocaine, the way it operates in the brain. It's addictive. And so once you start having that addiction flowing in, um, it's gonna raise insulin levels, prevent you from burning fat. Um, it increases cortisol in your stress response and it really wreaks havoc on your organs. Your liver takes a load, your pancreas takes a load, everything does. Um, your arterial function takes a load. So it really is gonna lead into heart disease, it's gonna lead into diabetes, it's gonna to lead to all these diseases, this lack of eases in the body. So removing added sugars from processed foods is key. You can have your sugars from fruit, natural fruit, organic fruit, but try to avoid a lot of those added sugars. The second thing would be those vegetable oils, those industrial seed oils, canola, safflower, sunflower, soybean, those are some priorities right there. If you can cut those out of your diet, you're gonna notice a dramatic difference in your inflammatory levels. And inflammation is the main driver for all disease and sickness and, and lack of feeling good. So I highly recommend start getting rid of the vegetable oils and incorporating more of the healthy fats. And this could be from avocado, coconut, butter, ghee, uh, you know, other animal fats along that spectrum from grass fed beef, sardines, omega threes, uh, salmon, those types of foods. Uh, another thing to get rid of, I would say um, to avoid at least is uh, anything with artificial sugars is a big one. I think a lot of the products out there in the market have a lot of these artificial sugars made in a factory, in a lab, and they're extremely deleterious to our gut health, our microbiome. If we can get our microbiome healthier, we're going to feel sharper, more serotonin, healthier. So this includes sucralose, acesulfame, potassium, and a lot of other uh, artificial sugars. This does not include stevia and monk fruit. I prefer those for sure. They're a little, the studies uh, show uh, health benefits from those or lack of issues. Last but not least, I'd say, you know, things to, to remove from the diet. Uh, I would say just like any uh, genetically modified foods or on top of that, uh, meat that is from factory farms. I'm just not a big supporter of the industry. I think it's sad what goes on in it. Um, you know, it's really disastrous. Uh, the way they treat these animals, which therefore that energy is translated into your body when you consume it. So I'm a big proponent of grass fed regenerative uh, meat, which is also more nutritious because they're eating grass, which gets converted into more omega threes in their in their cells. And so big thing right there is also meat.